I now want to show you a different way to calculate partial derivatives, which is called implicit partial differentiation. Now what we've looked at so far is where you have a function. Let's say we're talking about functions of two variables. So you have a function z equals f of xy. So z is given by some explicit formula involving the variables x and y. So this is what we might call an explicit formula. Now sometimes, instead, a function is described by an implicit equation of the form capital F of x, y, z equals 0. So here, z is the solution to the equation f of x, y, z equals 0. So if you give me an x and a y, then you have to solve this equation for z, and that's what z is. Um, for example, an expl example of an expl implicit equation is x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9. So as you know, that describes a sphere of radius 3. in three-dimensional space. So if you're given x and y, you can solve this equation for z. Uh, an explicit formula would be z equals the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And there's a little subtlety here, which is that in general, there are two solutions for z, well, at least if, if x squared plus y squared is less than 9. And there are two solutions for z. So you could also have z equals minus the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. So as we know, this whole surface cannot be described as the graph of a single function. But there are two halves, or two hemispheres. And each hemisphere is the half it is described by an explicit formula. OK, so then how do we calculate Um, partial z, partial x, and partial z, partial y. Well, we know how to do this when z is given by an explicit formula, so we can differentiate this. Um, in general, however, sometimes you might be given an implicit equation where it's difficult or impossible to solve for z. And in that case, there's another method we can use. And let me show you how this works. So our example is, again, we'll take x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9. Now, what we're going to do is think of everything in this equation as a function of x and y and differentiate with respect to x or y. So think of everything. in this equation as a function of x and y. Now we're going to calculate the partial derivative with respect to x. So we're going to write partial partial x of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals partial partial x of 9. OK, so we get, for the first term, we get 2x. That's it. And for the second term, well, if we're differentiating with respect to x, we think of y as a constant, so we get 0. And for the third term, well, now we use the product rule. So this is 2z times partial z partial x. Okay, So when you do this, already we're thinking of everything as a function of x and y. And then we're further thinking of y as a constant and differentiating with respect to x. So this is the usual single variable product rule for a function of a single variable x. All right. And then this is equal to the derivative of 9. And 9 is a constant, so that's 0. So we can now solve for partial z partial x to get partial z partial x 
equals minus x over z. If you look at the picture, you'll see that when z is small, so when we're close to the xy plane, then this um, surface has a very steep slope, and so that's and we're dividing by a very small number, so this derivative is very big. So when z gets small, the this partial derivative gets very big, and we can see in the picture why that's happening. We can likewise calculate the derivative with respect to y. So we write partial partial y of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals partial partial y of 9. And then similarly, we get 0 plus 2y plus 2z partial z partial y equals 0. And so we can again solve for partial z partial y to get that partial z partial y equals minus y over z. Okay. Now let's compare with what we would get if we differentiated the explicit formula. So when we solve for z, there are two different functions we could get. We could get z equals square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared, or z equals minus square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. Um, for simplicity, let's just do the positive square root. Right? So let's, let's differentiate this with respect to x. So I get that partial z partial x. So I have 1 half, and I have 1 over the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared, and then I multiply this by the derivative of the thing that I'm the, taking the square root of, which is minus 2x. So this comes out to be minus x over the square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And if you look at the previous page, the answer we got was minus x over z. And this, but this is z right here, so this agrees with the answer we got before, minus x over z. Okay, so this wasn't really any harder, but in general, if you have an equation where it's difficult or impossible to solve explicitly for z as a function of x and y, then implicit differentiation is the way to go. Let me do one more example. So suppose z is defined implicitly by the equation zx squared plus y squared plus x, y, z squared equals zero. And let's calculate partial z, partial x. Okay, so again, we take this equation, we think of everything as a function of x and y, and we differentiate the whole equation with respect to x. So I have um, partial, partial x, of z x squared plus y squared plus x y z squared equals, well, the derivative of 0 is 0. Okay, so now we calc differentiate the first term using the product rule. So I get dz dx times x squared plus 2z x, and the derivative of y squared is 0. And then for x, y, z squared, I use the product rule again. So I get y, z squared plus 2 x, y, z partial z partial x equals 0. And now I can solve this equation for partial z partial x. 
So I get partial z, partial x equals minus 2zx minus yz squared over um, x squared plus 2xyz. Okay, now this one you could still solve for z explicitly using the quadratic formula. It would be a lot messier. But if this z squared were, say, z to the fifth, then it would be hopeless. So this is a good method for this example.